Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. This is the last video, five of five for the eighth grade end of year of mathematics. And I want to thank everyone who's provided feedback and have subscribed. Thank you. This last video, and I'm talking about academic language because it's something that a lot of students don't understand is that you have to understand the language. You have to comprehend what is being taught and or just been for reading a word problem. This academic language is something that it's, it's taught in the schools. It's typically taught in the schools. It's in textbooks. It's in tests. It's in quizzes. It's used at all grade levels. And it's typically only spoken in school or between other academics and such. Why do you need to know academic language? Well, you need to know academic language so that you can independently read and understand what you read. In math, the understanding of academic language is necessary for the development of mathematical proficiency. What that's telling you is that if you don't study the academic language, as you go up in grade levels, you'll, you're not going to be proficient enough to pass the class, period. I went through and I looked at all of my slides for the previous four videos, and there were 86 words that either have multiple meanings or have specific meanings only in mathematics. Here's a list of all the words that I had written down within my notes or within the, the slides that I was showing off. I did not go back and re-listen to all of the language. And this is 86 words, but there was pro I'd, I'd say there's probably 200 words I used throughout all the videos that are specific for mathematics. If you don't understand these words and you're not able to comprehend what's going on, you're not going to do well. So what I would say is start creating a mathematics notebook. Take notes. Make sure that somebody else can read your writing. Because if they can't read it, more than likely you're going to have a difficult time going back and reading what you wrote. If your printing is poor, work on it. If your handwriting is poor but your printing is good, switch to printing. That is what I did. When I started college, I, I quickly realized that I needed to have good notes. And so I started printing everything. Now, beforehand, I had a mixture of printing and handwriting and it didn't look good. I was able to get through. But when I switched over part to primarily printing or going back and printing out my notes that I had had written during the day that evening, that made it so that I was doing it twice. It's stuck in my head and I was able to read it later for when I was studying for a test. For example, I was volunteering in an eighth grade math class and the teacher said, okay, we're going to have a test and you can use your notes for this. The students who had great handwriting or printing, they were the consistent ones to score highest on the exams. And those who you couldn't read, I mean, I couldn't read it, they couldn't read it. In fact, I went over and I talked with someone. I said, can you even read your notes? They're like, no. And I go, maybe you should start printing. And those who listened started to score higher on their exams exams and those who didn't they didn't when you reach eighth grade you're expected that you have mastered grades one through seven students must have a good understanding of the number system prior knowledge from the previous grade that includes a conceptual understanding of math mathematical procedural skill and fluency and appropriate knowledge of how to apply math including rational and irrational numbers functions and geometry that's a lot you're going whoa, whoa wait a minute I, I didn't cover this you did need to be awake I, I talk with my students a lot about go to bed on time, don't stay up past 10 o'clock, eat breakfast. If you don't eat breakfast, your brain doesn't have the fuel it needs to work properly. Take notes. i just talking about notes. Take notes and make sure that you can read them. So I'm working on a booklet that's going to be a math survival guide for middle school. And I'm going to put a lot of the words in there with definitions and I'm going to have, I'm not going to work through the mathematical equations, but I'm going to show that there's, hey, there's all these formulas. And I'm going to put it all in one booklet, but that's not a replacement. You'll still have to take notes like in there saying, hey, remember to do this, remember to do that. Uh, I'm going through and reformatting it so it has more space so that you as a student can write your notes that'll back up what that formula is for or have a deeper understanding for the definitions of the words that are in there. I highly recommend that you look up your areas, math standards, and framework. What that's going to do is give you an idea of here's your goal and you have to figure out where you're at. Maybe even go to your teacher and say, listen, I'm trying to do better. I need to find out where my starting point is so I can know where to start from and know where I'm going to. Take charge of your education. Take charge of your math knowledge. Take charge of what you can do. 
but always ask for help. When you start asking for help, really great things can happen. I've created a lot of videos and I have some practice going from kindergarten all the way up through eighth grade on this YouTube channel, which is different from the one. It's just Mr. Woods Teaches. This is where I have my basic mathematics going all the way up through fifth grade. I started a new channel specifically for middle school and high school, and that's going to be Mr. Woods Teaches Math. And that's the one that you're seeing this video on. Right here is going to give you the basic understanding that it's going to be that framework, that number sense that you need. It's going to show you the definitions. It's going to make it so that you have a better understanding of the math that you need to be successful in middle school and high school. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, I make mistakes. Watch me correct my mistakes on TikTok at Mr. Woods Teaches. Have a great day.